It is the worst rioting in Indonesia for three decades and escalating by the day. Much of the capital, Jakarta, a city of 11 million people, is in the grip of rioters. Looting is now extensive and the mobs are moving towards the city centre. It has gone much beyond a student protest. Security forces have been patrolling the streets. The police are judged to be the main force protecting President Suharto and his regime, while the loyalties and role of the army is less clear. Protest leaders are said to believe that ultimately the military will side with them. Amid such chaotic scenes, the death and injury toll is not easy to establish. But it's believed at least 22 people have been killed in the three days of violence and looting. No one is estimating the economic cost. It is all deeply ominous for President Suharto, who has been in Egypt attending an international summit. He is now flying home, a man who has been in power for 32 years, but whose leadership is now under grave and mounting threat. The political turmoil in Jakarta is certain to have a global impact. The country is the fourth most populous in the world, and most economic activity is simply paralysed. The political question emerging from the anarchy is whether President Suharto might now step down, and what leadership would emerge in the aftermath of one of Asia's most enduring autocrats. Robert Moore.